In the world of fitness and bodybuilding, Ernestine Shepard stands out as a remarkable example of dedication and perseverance. Born on June 16, 1936, Ernestine is a shining example of how age should never be a limitation when pursuing one's passions. With her toned, sculpted physique, she radiates strength and vitality, defying her age and capturing the admiration from fitness enthusiasts worldwide. At 85 years old, Ernestine's glowing skin and vibrant energy serve as a reminder of the transformative power of a healthy lifestyle. Ernestine didn't start her bodybuilding journey until she was 56 years old. She had a job as a secretary at a school and had never worked out at all growing up. She says, Believe it or not, I used to be a couch potato. I was always too prissy to work out and you couldn't get me away from chocolate cake. But one day, while shopping for bathing suits together with her sister Velvet, they both realized they wanted to make a change and get in shape. They joined a gym and started working out together, with the goal of becoming the oldest bodybuilders in the world and getting into the Guinness Book of World Records. However, tragically, Velvet passed away suddenly from a brain aneurysm, leaving Ernestine devastated. She stopped working out and fell into a deep depression, suffering from high blood pressure and panic attacks. After mourning her sister for months, Ernestine picked herself back up and started working out again. But Ernestine Shepard was not content with simply losing weight and getting in shape. She decided to take things a step further and sought out former Mr. Universe, Yoni Schoenberger, to train her. Despite the grueling nature of the training, she remained committed and persevered for seven months, ultimately competing in a bodybuilding competition. At the Natural East Coast Tournament of Champions Bodybuilding Competition, she beat out women decades younger than her to take home first place in her class. Her motto, determined, dedicated, and disciplined to be fit, is more than just words to her. It is her way of life. She believes that if you followed the three Ds and used your mind, you could achieve anything you set your sights on. But Ernestine's story doesn't end there. After competing in Rome, Italy in March of 2010, Ernestine received a call from her manager informing her that the Guinness Book of World Records had contacted them to confirm that she was officially the oldest performing female bodybuilder in the world. Ernestine's success brought her into the spotlight, catching the attention of various fitness brands, magazines, and even pop star Beyonce. In an interview, she says, When I look in the mirror, I feel happy because I feel healthy. I love how bodybuilding gives me definition. But how exactly did Ernestine obtain her physique? Well, for her workouts, they're pretty intense. According to her website, she likes to compete in both 5K and 10K races and marathons. So her morning routine certainly isn't for the weak. She gets up early in the morning to get in her 10-mile run. By incorporating regular runs into her routine, Ernestine ensures that her cardiovascular endurance remains strong and her body stays agile. Now, Ernestine Shepard wouldn't be a bodybuilder if she didn't incorporate weights. While cardio is very important to her, and running is one of her main forms of exercise, Ernestine is so skilled in weightlifting that she can bench press 150 pounds. She typically lifts at least three times a week and doesn't go into the gym without a plan. She likes to keep her workouts very structured. On Mondays, Ernestine targets her chest and biceps, performing exercises like bench presses, dumbbell curls, and push-ups. Wednesdays are dedicated to her shoulders and triceps, incorporating movements such as shoulder presses, lateral raises, and tricep dips. Fridays are particularly challenging, as she combines both leg day and back exercises, utilizing squats, lunges, deadlifts, and rows to sculpt her lower body and back muscles. Moreover, Ernestine understands the importance of rest and recovery in achieving optimal results. She schedules rest days into her routine, allowing her body to heal and rejuvenate after intense workouts. She prioritizes active rest for herself not only physically, but also for her mind. She finds that her faith and consistent readings of scripture keep her in a positive mindset for her workouts and everyday life. Despite her now being aged 83, she has no aches or pains from the rigorous exercise. She also, shockingly, has never been injured in the course of her journey. She says, 
Physical activity in my latter years has helped me because at one time I suffered with high blood pressure, panic attacks, acid reflux. Oh, you name it, I had it. After I started working out, everything changed for me. No more high blood pressure medicine, no more panic attacks, no more acid reflux. Exercise is not work, it's fun, it's a joy. Along with her intense strength training, Ernestine also prioritizes her diet. She eats five to six times per day, and her meals are high in protein and low in carbohydrates. She eats at least 120 grams of protein per day. She goes more into detail about her exact diet plan, starting with not one, but two breakfasts. Her first breakfast, consumed before her morning run, consists of an 8-ounce glass of liquid egg whites, a handful of walnuts, and a bowl of oatmeal. This combination of protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates provides her with the energy she needs to power through her morning cardio session. Upon returning from her run, Ernestine enjoys her second breakfast, which includes four boiled egg whites, offering her additional protein to support muscle recovery and growth. This two-breakfast approach ensures that she has a consistent energy supply throughout the morning, preventing any dips in energy levels that could hinder her performance. In addition to her two breakfasts, Ernestine has two to three more balanced meals throughout the day. Each meal typically features a lean protein source, such as chicken, tuna, or turkey, paired with a healthy carbohydrate like baked sweet potatoes, white potatoes, or brown rice. To round out her meals, she includes a serving of mixed vegetables. She avoids foods such as beef, refined carbohydrates, saturated fats, and general junk food and sweets. But she said junk food doesn't even tempt her anymore, now that she eats consistently healthy meals throughout the day. Although Ernestine does have a specific small cheat meal she reaches for. I don't want to eat junk food. My treat is unsweetened jelly, and I drink lots of water. I'll have my last glass of liquid egg whites before bed. I know my diet won't be for everyone, and I wouldn't advise people to suddenly start eating like this without speaking to a doctor or dietitian, but it works for me. Ernestine Shepard's passion for fitness extends beyond her personal journey, as she's become a certified personal trainer. She specializes in working with older adults, focusing on functional fitness and exercises that promote strength, balance, and flexibility. Her understanding of the challenges faced by older individuals give her a unique perspective as a personal trainer. She's sensitive to the fears and concerns of her clients, patiently guiding them through each exercise while providing encouragement and motivation. With her empathetic approach, Ernestine has been able to help many clients overcome their barriers to exercise and adopt a more active lifestyle. Shepard is thriving with the way she lives her life and wouldn't go back to her old life without bodybuilding for even a second. She says, When I look back at 56 years old me, I can't believe how much my life has changed. I'm not that shy lady anymore. I'm 5 foot 4, I weigh between 118 and 120 pounds, and I can go anywhere and not feel intimidated by anyone. Bodybuilding has given me an amazing sense of confidence. It's my joy, and 25 years on, I'm still having the time of my life with it. What are your thoughts on this woman? We'd love to hear your opinions in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We also encourage you to watch our previous videos for more inspiring stories.